Okay, one of these later tutorials that we're going to have a look at right now is we're going to have a look at how to create a wobble base in Massive. Of course, this is something that we've been asked to do a lot of, and uh, there's basically a few controls that you need to make yourself familiar with. One of the ones that you need to be really, really familiar with, in fact, is, is the uh, speed, and that is what controls the rate of the actual LFO. So in this case, we've mapped the LFO basically to right here. So I'm going to touch down a note here. All right. So as I'm touching that note, you can hear it actually doing its wobble thing. But if I go down here to the mapping for speed, we can see how that affects the actual speed that the wobble actually occurs at. And you can actually affect the rate in different ways. One of the ways to do this is, in fact, if you select the LFO and you actually adjust the way that the wave occurs, you can see that this AM novel that I've mapped to is a controller here. You can see that AM controller actually gives it a little bit of, you know, like anger or whatever you could say. <clears throat> and that's because it's boosting the bit crush effect. And if I, of course, turn up the noise level here, this is mapped directly to this muted noise sound, which has actually got these two parameters of color and amplification, which are mapped to it as well. And I've picked a couple of waveforms in this case that are particularly edgy, that have that really, really strong presence. Under oscillator 1, I picked the bronze waveform. And under oscillator 2, I've picked the additive mix 2 waveform. Both of those waveforms have a really good edge to them, and I tend to sort of like gravitate towards those quite a bit. And then another thing that I usually do is actually add a bit of um, overdrive on the actual sound itself. So I use, usually use the uh, tube or the teletube in this case. If I was to completely turn it off, you can see how it fattens up the sound. You really want to drive it harder. You can see how that brings up the presence of it, but it begins to sort of loft into a distortion. So the last thing, of course, to pay attention to is, is to add a bit of a sweep, which is great as a transitional effect. And adding this sweep, you can see sort of refactors the sound again. Like it, it's a great way to sort of, in between sections, to add a little bit of edge to sort of indicate to the user that something is changing. So that's just a few tips on how to actually set up a wobble bass sound. One of the best things that you can do is actually go and download our wobble bass collection that's made or directly available right on our site and also from producerloops.com and there's a link in the bottom of this particular video. So have fun and uh, if you have any questions about how to create a wobble base and you want to know more about it just uh, feel free to drop us a line here and ask for Sigmund. Take care.